Why? Hello and welcome everybody and good morning everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with my league progress. I haven't really done much this league compared to uh, Ritual League. I've been taking it a little slow, really not wanting to burn myself out. But I wanted to go ahead and just show you guys nonetheless of pretty much what we've accomplished and kind of where we're going to move forward from here. So of course we've got the Righteous Fire character that I initially started playing. Uh, you know, basically the same as last league with the exception of instead of uh, pathing through here like this, we have opted out to use a Thread of Hope for the instant war cry. Basically, exact same build, just slight alteration of the playstyle to make it feel smoother. Um, I really like this character. I stopped playing it because when I got to around 96, closing in on 97, um, I kind of just got bored. Not with the build itself. I really like Righteous Fire. I got bored because um, when I was at this point in my character last time, I was also bored and I decided I'm going to just liquidate all my currency in Harvest Craft. Harvest isn't here anymore, so I could not really do that. Uh, instead of doing that, I would have to like start a new way of crafting most of my gear. I mean, a lot of my gear can still be crafted without Harvest, but just the, I don't know, the feeling of like dumping 12 exalts into a piece of gear and then going almost nowhere with it would just... I don't know, it just really hurt me, right? So anyway, I took a break from this character. I didn't want to burn myself out. It's still here. All of its gear is here. Still have this shit level 50 amulet I picked up from the beginning. And I feel so bad. Everyone that follows my guide is allocating golem's blood on their amulet. The only reason this has golem's blood is because I bought it as an, you know, a corrupted amulet that had golem's blood. Basically, when I first start the league, I search talismans. But I sort by uh, anoints. So I'll search for like golem's blood because it's a massive chad life with uh, life regen i'll search for uh breath of flames because it's uh really really good damage you know 20 percent fire with 10 percent fire multi and i'll also search growth and decay which i think is our ideal one which is 10 percent multi one percent regen and 20 percent damage over time anyway though i pretty much halted this character the only thing i've stolen from this guy is my uh awakened Ink AoE, which is on my Death Oath character, which we're going to go migrate onto right now. So this is the character where I decided to dump most of my currency in this league. Uh, the main reason being is since I did not harvest craft this character's gear in a prior league, it I don't know, I don't feel as hit by the changes as playing this build as another. Does that sort of make sense? Um... Also, a big part of this build is uniques, and uniques cannot really be harvest crafted. You can, like, divine them, but that's it. Like, my chest piece is locked in place. You can't really craft this. Helmet's locked in place. Amulet, I could get a different amulet, but for the sake of this, I'm using uh, Disciple of Unyield. Sorry, I'm using Impresence, which cannot really be crafted. You know it's a drop from Elder. And then because I'm using the Verdi's Veil, I'm using two Magic Rings, which cannot really be crafted past this. So I guess when... When I have the ability to craft like an easier project, it draws me more into it. I guess it's kind of something that I'm sort of trying to say. I do still have to craft his weapon. Um, I really have to craft my gloves. These are absolutely, I don't even know, they're very bad right now. Uh, my belt is really good. It's just missing the actual reason why I have it, which is life rolls. You can see I catalyst this belt to try to get life rolls and I somehow slammed three T1 res. Um, I do believe I have keep suffix reroll prefix which is probably what i'm going to want to do for this uh and then his boot, their boots are pretty good uh i still need to dump into like a malevolence watcher's eye for uh, damage over time multi if i really want to keep on playing this character um but i'm really liking it i'm really 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 liking it uh since i have so many layers of mitigation every level feels impactful because i am basically just getting life nodes and life nodes feel really good when you have multiple layers of defense Opposed to just having a normal 6k life going to 6.1k, you're still going to get one shot. So this character actually still, like, I'm really liking my Death Oath character. Now, I made a Poison Pathfinder. First mistake, I played an attack build. I don't like attack builds in this game. Um, I wanted to make a, <laughs> a Vridi's Veil. I don't know why, I'm just addicted to this helmet. A Vridi's Veil Viper Strike Pathfinder with, like, absurd form of defensive layers... Which, of course, comes at a price with doing ZDPS for the most part. Um, and, I mean, I probably could have gotten the build to work pretty well. It's just, I don't really play attack builds. I shouldn't have tried to play an attack build. I think the only attack builds I like are truly building around unique weapons. Because it's a lot easier for me to scale. 
or something like Facebreaker uh, or Doriani's Fist because you don't use a weapon, you're scaling off of a massive multiplier, and that's, I don't know, that's easier for me to understand, I guess. Uh, I also did grab like a sick uh, shield on this guy, 106 life, 2 minimum frenzy, pretty pretty good. It's my old Death South shield. Uh, anyways, this character was scrapped, but I do have a new project that is underway. I don't know how far we're going to get with it. It might be complete shit, but I was talking with chat, and we have come to a conclusion on something. So, as you can tell by this tab, I'm sure you can figure out what I'm playing. Uh, I want to play a Maha Mahoxel Ma Machinimation Shield build. Now, what I have in my mind is... A mana agnostic version so it will not gain the benefit of like half of these things because it will not use ES but what the shield basically does at this point is it gives us Volpact and it gives us overleech and it gives us divine flesh so if you put those three factors on a build you don't get any life regen but you can still use agnostic and go life recovery so if I use a Tempered by War, then the only damage types I take are Fire, Physical, um, let's see, Fire, Physical, and Chaos. That's it. So I can completely void out any form of Lightning Res entirely. Even, even Lightning Dots are converted into uh, Fire and or Chaos. And I can completely void out Cold, which means I don't want any all resistance on my gear because I want to build around Doriani's prototype, which makes it so you cannot deal lightning damage, which means we're going to stack mana, and we're stacking mana so we can either use Archmage slash Arcane Cloak and get the fatty lightning. Then, with the fatty lightning, we're going to have basically negative like 60 lightning res, negative 80 lightning res, but our lightning damage is taken as fire slash chaos, and then we're going to try a caster variant where we're basically, like I said, going to stack mana. I have Skyforths because Skyforths essentially is like a, at this point in the game, a cheap version for stun immunity uh, or very, very, very high stun resistance. This says you have no life regen, which is fine because we have Volpact anyway. Um, so it's just really high movement speed with really high mana with... Um, um, Sorry, with uh, essentially stun immunity. But the problem is I don't know how much life I'm going to have. But um, playing a mom agnostic... I don't know if I'm playing Hierophant or Necromancer yet. I'm still deciding. Hierophant would give us a bit more effective life. Necromancer would go block-based. This build would have issues with degen. So I think I'm leaning more towards Hierophant. Since they get that extra 10% uh, mind over matter to their mana pool. Whereas, and which is kind of rough because I don't have Cloak of Defiance in this build. Sorry, in this build. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Um, I'm just going to cover real fast what I've been doing with my Atlas since I wanted to kind of change it up. So last league, I pretty much ran Haywork Hamlet to 100 doing Atolls. This league, I decided I wanted to try something different. So at the moment, I'm in New Vastir. I do need to buy slash make Watchstones for this section. Um, I wanted to try out Total Anarchy with Rogue Trader. And uh, I also want to try Sulfite. I'm going to actually try Delving a little bit, learn a little bit more about Delve. Um, since the other options are like Abyss, which literally never spawns unless I uh, force Abyss. And Abyss is just annoying. You have to follow it. And I don't know. It's just a pain in the ass sometimes. Um, the other option is Legion, but I'm kind of sick of Legion. Legion is really fun if you have a build that like you just press one button and the whole screen explodes. Otherwise, I don't know. I just feel like Legion is so imbalanced. Um, it's really fun to farm. I don't like dying, and even on absurdly defensive builds in, like, corridors, Legion can just absolutely destroy you and snipe you. Um, I was also thinking of Glen Carnes because of Beyond, but I've done this before. Basically just spamming Beyond, but you can't do Beyond on the, um, the Atlas right now with Zana, so I'm not really sure. I, I may think of, uh, of some other locations to go as well, for sure. I might try Invasion Bosses, actually, at Tyran's End. Valuable Item Invasion Boss? What else can I do here? I don't want Delirium. Abyss. Mm. God damn it. Yeah, I might... Do I just go beasts? Beasts with invasion bosses? I don't even know. We'll have to look at some other ones. Like I said, I gotta respect this as well. I don't want to do this. I could do double sulfite, actually. 
Huh. Wait a minute. Is this actually better than... That's actually pretty good. Sulfite infusion and Lex Proxima versus what I'm doing right now. Completing Nico missions in areas grant 100% increased favor. What is favor? Wait, is this for hideout MTX? No way. Have I been doing this for hideout MTX? I'm about to fucking respec my Atlas right now. <laughs> Give me one sec. Have I been memed? Where's Where's Nico? Nico. Nico. Don't tell me favor is uh Oh my god, this is fucking hideout MTX! Okay, I gotta switch. Uh, we can't do cell fight in New Vastir. Anyway, that's pretty much gonna be it for the video. I learned enough uh, today. If you guys are wondering what... Oh shit, my beanie thing came off. I just realized. I'm drying my hair. Didn't realize it came out. Uh, anyway, though, I'm gonna catch you guys later. I'll be live on the stream here in the next, like, 10-15 minutes. So, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys are still enjoying Path of Exile. And uh, I'll catch you guys all later. Take care. Have a wonderful time. See you guys on the live stream.